I think our arms are like the same size. Okay, now that this is working, I suggest that we, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm scared the battery's gonna die. Hello, YouTube, we're back. <laughs> That's slightly creepy. Hi, YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, we haven't posted a video in a while since we haven't hung out together. It's the first time in, like, months. Yeah, because we're both busy people, we're in high school, so it's prison. Anyway, we're in a new habitat today. Um, we're downstairs in my kitchen because <laughs> upstairs the lighting's horrible and we have direct overhead lighting up here so you can see her pretty face better. And we have food within a foot of me. Anyway, so today was my birthday, my 16th birthday, so we decided to make like a good like video out of that I guess. So our topic today is things we hate people doing during parties. So, um, today was my 16th birthday and originally me and like all of my friends were gonna go around and like just eat at Olive Garden, like have fun, you know, have some bonding time. So we went to Olive Garden, well I went to Olive Garden with two of my friends and then we tried to book a table for 12 people and the woman told us it was gonna be two hours. So then we walked back over to a cheesecake factory which is right next door because they just built a new one in South Center Mall and then <laughs> and then the woman told us it was going to be three hour ways since it's such a big table so we're like screw it so we go back and then all my friends are which brings us to numero topic number one things not to do do not complain about where you are eating especially the people that are going to pay for you can I eat can I eat this uh, sure. Okay. Oh, okay. So some people that are gonna pay for you, don't complain. Yeah. Okay. So in this scenario, the people were like, "Yeah, no, 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 I don't want this. I don't want to go eat Mongolian food. I'm gonna go eat Thai food. I don't even care what the hell you want. It's my birthday. I'm gonna eat whatever the hell I want." Technically, on your birthday, the world does revolve around you, so don't listen to your parents. Exactly. Anyway, actually, no, don't listen to her. <laughs> <coughs> so anyway. Yeah, so Just my teeth feel funny. I hope this is not like freezer burning. <laughs> so, anyways, people that complain. Okay. So then we get back, and then we all decide we're going to Mongolian Grill. So we walk on over across the street. No, 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 we don't walk. It's raining. It's wet, and we run across the street. Okay. In so, flats. If you didn't know, we both live in Washington. Some dinky little town in Kent. Or. Er, yeah, call it's called Kent. Kent. My yeah, bad. well, anyway, it's like 20 minutes away from Seattle. And what they say about it raining all the time, that ain't no lie. So, it was, we went into Olive Garden, it was completely dry. We walk out 15 minutes later and it's pouring. And like... Like, like I could wring my sweater and I could like water a plant. Or like two. Yeah, something like that. So anyway, and also, our streets are really bad. So, there are these potholes everywhere and they're like could fit eight of our heads like this they're is like six feet long so you have to like jump you can leave only it's not a jump like, no no it's, it's like running running then an attempt at leaving it you're still gonna get your foot wet because these stupid holes are so big if you live in washington tell your parents to pay, pay their damn taxes because that's the reason why our streets are so effed up if you didn't know this my french teacher talking this the reason that washington has a messed up education system and a messed up like road system is because we're too liberal and I'm a democrat too but like pay your taxes it's not that hard and stop making petitions for everything that way we can get some lines on the road like if you go to the Auburn DOL testing like they'll take you on Auburn way and it's like a straight road and you're supposed to go into like your left turn lane but the left turn lane is not really there because they don't mark the pavement very well so you're kind of like what the heck and you fail that part of the test. And no, I haven't learned from experience. Anyway. Have you ever had it when you're eating dinner and you realize that this person is texting? That is so rude. Numero number two, I hate. Ooh. Okay, so if you're gonna text, it's okay, I don't really mind, but try to be slick about it, you know? Like, when the Mongolian people are chopping up your food and like flipping up and making volcano towers, you should be paying attention to that and paying attention to the birthday person, not your phone. I don't care what kind of Hawkeye is texting you, or what kind of dilemma you're in, pay attention to the person who's paying for your freaking tab. Chrissy, I told you how much our tab was, right? Like 200. 
$226. And they are the most expensive thing on the menu. They didn't even talk to you. Exactly. That's rude. That is rude to be rude. That is rude to be rude to the person that is paying for your meal. Exactly. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. I I know. And texting is just it's so annoying. It's just like <laughs> You know you people, I know you people that go to the movie theaters a lot, you know how they give you like the whole turn your cell phones off, you know, kind of thing? Have you ever seen the Jack Black one with the panda and he's like, I see you, I see you with the click, click, yeah, I see you. Yeah, that was them, the clicking. It's, it's, I'm not stupid, even if you didn't on the table, at least do it like kind of semi slowly so I don't hear the click, 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 and the da da whatever you're gonna do, you want. It's annoying, okay? Just turn off your cell phones, you can survive without them. I survive without this thing sometimes, but then again, I have a crappy phone. So. <laughs> but then again, some people don't have phones, so I am very grateful. So people out there who don't have phones, be very grateful for what you have. And people who need new phones, stop whining. Okay. Uh, another thing that happened, which wasn't too bad, but it was kind of embarrassing. Uh, sometimes at restaurants, if you tell them it's your birthday, they'll sing you a song and bring you a cake. Which is what happened to me, and it was bad. Followed by a gigantic drum that they beat. <laughs> in a Japanese restaurant, <laughs> they say happy birthday to me in Japanese, which is fabulous because I'm not, I, I can barely understand Japanese. But my friend Tom, uh, if you guys don't know him, check out his videos, it's Tombo VA. T O M B O V A. Tombo VA. It's not that hard. He's very funny. He's hilarious. He's one of my closer friends. And he secretly told the waiter or waitress, whatever she was, and my birthday, it was my birthday, so she bought me a fried ice cream cake with like whipped cream on the side and like strawberry sauce, so it was really good. But like and they like bring out this huge drum and like out of nowhere and they just like beat it out of nowhere. And they make like, me stand and up. And they make me stand up and they told me I could dance if I wanted to and it was really awkward and I was like, oh my god. It was really sweet though. It was really sweet, yes. And Tom, if you're watching this video, which I hope you are, I love you. You're amazing. Christy probably loves you too, but she's too busy eating her ice cream. I don't know. Well, my idea ice cream. How good this ice cream is. <laughs> oh no, you're not using your other hand. You're using your elbow. Okay. Is it still good? Mm -hmm. It's been my freezer for like five months. See, aren't you glad I'm here? Anyways, what's another thing we don't like? Ooh, rude waitresses. Oh my god, I was gonna slap that hoe. You people, do you, do you think it's funny that we have to be nice to you because you're the first, no, last people to see our food? That's not nice! Ugh! Oh, that's sick. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. That was nasty. I just like had some freezer burn or something on that bite. So while Susan washes out her mouth, and the taste is still there. Anyways, rude waiters and waitresses. Okay, we're paying customers. All right, and even though you can spit in our food and we don't know about it, we can make your life a living hell and you know about it. We can like spill the salt every and pour soy sauce all over people so you have to clean it up. We're, we got our eyes on you, you know? Be careful. Cause you got some rude people like me out there who don't really care if they're mean or not. So. I think though it's like a game. Like between all the employees, see how many customers you can make mad in one day. I bet you, I bet you anything like behind the scenes, like in the back room, the manager's like, whoever makes the most customers mad in a day gets like a $50 raise. Seriously. Because, I mean, come on, they can't all be rude just because there aren't that many rude people in the world. Well, there are, at least they're good at concealing it. I know, but I'm mean, in a restaurant. Yeah, exactly. So like, I bet you it's like some undercover sport, like cockfighting or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's ridiculous. I think it's stupid. I hate going out to restaurants. So my 16th birthday was a blow. No, I'm kidding. I'll miss you super birthday. I love everyone who came. So big shout out to that. I got the best presents ever. Oh my god. Isn't she cool? I got. So, me and my friend Marcus and my little brother got this for Susan. It's kind of funny because my little brother really doesn't like her, but likes her more than me. And your grandma likes me. And my <laughs> grandma loves her. <laughs> and just puts up with me. But, you know, we're not going to get into that topic. But this is what we got Susan. She's awesome. She's cool. Shit. Her name is Kimchi. And look, there's Tinkerbell on her dress. Tinkerbell! And it has a cupcake, which is compliments of Jason. 
Her brother, who apparently does not like either of us, but likes her more. <laughs> I like Tinky Pop. I like Tinky. Where's so, you? yep. This is my fan thing. Say hi. Hi. We should have bought the thing and we did her talk. I know the voice recording thing. No, that's awesome. And then Zach wants to get me one the cat. Oh, please don't eat me. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm sick of you people stereotyping me. Oh, I know. Filipinos, we don't eat dogs. Not no more. <laughs> Not no more. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Dog eater. I'm a dog eater. I'm an ice cream eater. Jeez. And I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian. So. Anyway. That concludes our video. I'm glad you met all my friends. Oh, should we talk about the sweater? Oh, yeah. Brian, you're cool. Brian, I heart you. So, that concludes our video. Say bye. Bye, bye YouTubers.